you're about to see a few people learn to use one of the newest, most advanced business computers in the world. If you know how to point, you already know how to use it. Macintosh, the computer for the rest of us. This is KSTS TV 48 in San Jose, your computer connection. Good evening. I'm John Scully, President and Chief Executive Officer of Apple Computer. And I'd like to welcome you to this special showing of our annual shareholders meeting, which was held on January 24, 1984. Now first, I'd like to apologize to those Apple shareholders who were unable to attend this meeting because the facilities weren't large enough. I'd like to assure you that in the future, we will make either ticketing facilities available to you prior to the meeting, or we will have larger facilities. January 24th was a very special day for all of us at Apple because it marked the introduction of a major new product for this industry called Macintosh. I hope you'll enjoy this show in its entirety, and I look forward to talking to you later on. Good morning and welcome to Apple's 1984 annual shareholders meeting. I'd like to open the meeting with a part of an old poem, about a 20-year-old poem by Dylan. That's Bob Dylan. <laughs> come writers and critics who prophesize with your pens and keep your eyes wide, the chance won't come again. And don't speak too soon for the wheels still in spin and there's no telling who that it's naming. For the loser now will be later to win, for the times they are a-changing. Now, now I'd like to introduce Apple's board of directors. Uh, this is a group of people that have really uh, guided Apple uh, through many years, especially the last uh, turbulent one we've been through. First, Dr. Henry Singleton, chairman of the board of Teledyne Corporation. Next, Peter Crisp, senior partner at Benrock, our first investor ever. Next, Arthur Rock, our timeless director. <laughs> and someone who has shepherded, ap shepherded Apple, I think, longer than anyone else ever has, that's Mike Markla. Regrettably absent today is Philip Schlein, who's chairman of Macy's California, also a director of Apple, and of course, John Scully, whom you'll be hearing from in just a moment. I'd like to now call the meeting to order and ask Al Eisenstadt, vice president and secretary of the company, to proceed with the formal business of our annual meeting of shareholders. Al? Thank you, Steve. Good morning, I'm Al Eisenstadt, and I'm going to take us through the formal part of the meeting, the legal part, if you will, but the real excitement, hopefully, will not come from me. It's gonna come. <laughs> it will come with what you hear later. The record date of this meeting, as set forth in the proxy statement, was November 25, 1983. I have for your inspection affidavits of mailing from the First National Bank of Boston, our transfer agent, and from the mailing house of Los Angeles. The notice of meeting, the proxy cards, the proxy statement with supplement, and the 1983 annual report were mailed to shareholders on December 5, 1983 and December 20, 1983. The affidavits of mailing will be attached to the minutes and the proxy cards were previously addressed by the transfer agent, the First National Bank of Boston. We have appointed two inspectors of election for this meeting, Bernard J. Crowley, 
shareholder services officer with the First National Bank of Boston, our transfer agent, and Sandra Marin, an attorney with Apple Computer. Both inspectors have signed oaths of election to their office, and these oaths are available for your examination. The inspectors have informed me that there were 59,378,283 shares that were eligible to vote at this meeting. Preliminarily, if that's up to this point, 43,652,860 shares have been voted at this meeting, which is approximately 73.5% of the eligible shares. Now, this is a preliminary count, and the exact count will be restated following the tally of the vote. Accordingly, since the majority of the eligible shares have been voted, and the meeting is being held at the time and place indicated in the notice of meeting, I hereby declare that a quorum is present, in person or by proxy, and that the meeting is properly constituted. If you have previously turned in your proxy, it will be voted as indicated. If you are eligible to vote and have not submitted your proxy, or if you want to change your proxy previously voted, a, sub, a supply of proxies are available and were available before the meeting. Monitors on either side of the auditorium and in the balconies will hand out proxies if you still don't have one and collect them. Please raise your hand if you wish to receive a new proxy. The first item of business prior to the items contained in the notice of annual meeting and the proxy statement is the approval of the minutes of the last annual meeting of shareholders held on January 19, 1983. Note that these minutes will be available for your inspection immediately after this meeting. Do I hear a motion to dispense with the reading of the minutes and for the approval of the minutes as prepared by the Secretary of the Corporation? Thank you. Do I hear a second? Thank you. Well orchestrated. <laughs> it has been moved and seconded that the minutes of the last annual meeting of shareholders held on January 19th, 1983 be approved and the reading of such minutes be dispensed with. All in favor, please signify by raising their hands. All opposed? The motion is carried. The first official item on the agenda will be the election of seven directors to serve for the ensuing year or until their successors are elected. The floor is now open for nominations. There being no nominations other than those contained in the proxy statement, do I hear a motion for the nomination for the election of those individuals named in the proxy statement to act as directors of Apple Computer Inc. for the ensuing years or until their successors are elected? Thank you. Do I hear a second? For those of you who are voting by proxy and have not yet turned it in, please indicate the way you wish to vote and see that your proxy gets turned into a monitor. The next item before the meeting is the ratification by the shareholders of an amendment to the 1981 stock option plan to increase the number of shares of common stock reserved for issuance under the
12 million shares authorized by this amendment. Do I hear